Right? Come have a look at this. Shows the increase in attendance at old people's day centres during last year. Shows what? Look, this was the number of old people attending day centres during January last year, then February, then March, and so on. You can see how much it's gone up. Hey, what happened there? Did they all go mate? Ah, oh, that. No, 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 no. That was when the council opened a new centre. Of course, it meant a sudden jump in the figures, but we've explained that on the graph. See? Oh, oh, okay. yeah. We don't want people to get the wrong idea, do we? <laughs> Another thing I ought to show to head office is a graph. You're quite right. I mean, you can't have figures without a graph to show them how the sales is going up. Hmm. Trouble is, my sales aren't going up, they're going down. I mean, look at this. That was April last year. This is March this year. Yeah, but it's going up at the end. Hmm? Ah, well, of course it does. That's when our summer orders come in. Uh, there's always a rise at that time of the year. Hey, hang about. That looks better. What does? Don't move. So you are. No, better still, you come over here and I'll come over there. Look. Now what can you see? Well, I can't see anything at all. You're you standing in the way. You can see down that end, can't you? Yes. Well, what does it look like? <laughs> it looks as though my sails are rocketing. That's right. Good Lord! You're not suggesting I should... Oh, no, 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 I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't possibly. I, I... No, uh, well, March figures only. Yeah, very pretty. You could resist it. Sales going up and up. I don't know how I'm going to live with my conscience. Oh, it's easy. You get used to it. But not that I've got anything on my conscience. We're coming to the end of them now. Oh. I've just been doing some final figures. Seems as if 79% of the old people in Watford use one service or another. 79%? Uh -huh. Oh, 79 out of every hundred. That's right. But you didn't ask every hundred. Oh, please, don't let's go into that again. We took a sample. Actually, we've asked 500 people so far. 395 use at least one of the council's services. That's 79%. I'll take your word for it. Did you see? If we took a smaller group, or a bigger group, the figure would still be the same. That's why we make it a percentage. It would still be 79%. However many people we ask. What if there was only two of them? <laughs> yes. Well... Hello, Tim. Uh, hello, Anne. Come in. Hello, Mike. Hello. Only two of them. This is where I live. Well, it was nice of you to ask me out. Oh, it was nice of you to come. It was a good disco. Very good. Well, I'd better go in now. You know something? I've just worked it out that 65% of the girls who walk home with a boy ask them in for a cup of coffee. Do they? That leaves 35% who don't. Yeah, but 54% of the boys who go in for coffee stay a bit longer to... You know. Oh, I'm sure you're right. But did you realise that 42% of the boys that stay a bit longer end up married within three months? Married? 42%? According to my figures. Yeah, well, oh, I, I do need a bit of sleep. I'll see you Friday night. Yeah. Friday night? Your place about eight o'clock. Well, I've got to get that form filled in by your granddad. It's my last chance. I hope you'll be well enough. I'll see you. You will find my sales chart and graph enclosed. As you will see... It, it, do you mind? Hmm? Do you mind? Oh, certainly. As you will see. It, what will they see? I mean, what does the survey show? That the people think the T-shirts should be advertised more. Ah, yes. So, how about 22 out of 25 people interviewed thought that twang top T-shirts ought to be more widely advertised? 22 out of 25? I thought you were going to add an odd. 220 out of 250. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, I, well, I won't. It must be someone. It may be 50% fraud, but all the same, I refuse. <laughs> you just said it, didn't you? That's it. Make it a percentage. Percentage? Hmm. 22 out of 25. Yeah. As... Oh. 22 out of 25. That's out of 50. Twice 22. 44. So out of 100. Twice 44. 88. 
That's eighty-eight percent. Beautiful. Eighty-eight percent. What more could you ask? Eighty-eight percent. Oh. Hey, Granddad, <coughs> uh, don't do any more of that just now. No, no, I'm not going to. I, I've done my half. You can do your half now. <coughs> oh, well, your back hurts, doesn't it? It's about time you took it easier at your time of life. Hey? Well, oh, yeah. <coughs> Look, why don't you come come over here and sit down and put your feet well, up? What's coming? You come over here and put That's all right. Just sit back and relax, all right? What's going on? Hey, what's up? You going soft in the head again? Actually, I'm expecting a visitor. Hmm? It's a girl. Yeah? She pretty? Yeah, very. Only the fact is, uh, she thinks you're very old. Old? How old? Mm, say about eighty-five. Eighty-five. Look, then, don't exert yourself. There's just one other thing. Oh yeah, what's that? I told her you're an invalid. Me? An invalid? Well, you don't mind, not just for one night. What do you think I do mind? Look, that'll be her. Leave all the talking to me, right? Pretty girl, eh? Who's an invalid? Uh, is Mr. Lucas in? Ah, uh, oh, there you are. Uh, I just heard from head office. I can keep my job. Oh, good, Mr. Butterfield, come in. Oh, that's great, isn't it? I spoke the survey must have done the trick. On the contrary, they didn't believe a word of it. Hey, but... However, they were full of praise for my initiative. Initiative? But it was my idea. Yeah, but I could hardly tell them that, would I? No. Anyway, they're sending me to Leeds to manage the Northern office. Oh, congratulations! Leeds? Mm. What about the office down here? Oh, closing it down. Closing it? But my job. Mm. Oh, that! Ah, well, I'll ask them if they'll pay you for the decorating in any case. Oh, please, because I'm relying on well, that. Of course you are. You need the money, don't I you? Think, yes, on yes, account yes, of yes. having your little grandson oh, to look after. It's little what? Oh, by the way, as a token of my appreciation, I bought this for the little chap. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, like that. What a little chap. Yeah, who is this young man? Oh, uh, it's my brother. A younger brother. Oh, out to the door, will you please, Michael? Old man. I think you'll have to go as well, Mr. Butterfield. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I was right hoping away. to talk about some things. No, oh, 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 Mr. Lucas! He's, oh, he's had another attack. How terrible! But shall I fetch a doctor? No, don't do that. He's always doing this when he's falling down. It's his condition. Look, stand back. Give him some air. Granddad, stay where you are. Granddad, did you say? Look, that? I can't leave him like that. Let me help you, Mr. Lucas. Yeah, I was sure you would. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Now, now, come on, mm. perhaps you better lean on me now. Be no, very like careful. Very much. Up we come. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh. Thank you. There. Now, is there anything I can do for you? Um, <clears throat> is there any chance of the kiss of life? Mr. Lucas, really? Ow! Well, it's only a friendly little... You're not an invalid at all. No. But you told me... Um, was... It's the pills he's been taking. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful what they've done for you, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Lucas, yeah. I want the truth, please. Is this young man your grandson? Well, uh, uh, yes. You lied to me, Mr. Lucas. And to me. And to think I was sorry for you. <laughs> you and are you. a liar, Mr. Lucas. I came oh, here to survey. I can hear it. 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 I can hear it.